Alright guys, what's going on? This is a new custom firmware update for you. This is the Habibs CEX based custom firmware 4.46 version 1.13. Simply what this is, is just a few minor bug fixes to your custom firmware. And if you're running the Habibs custom firmware, if you've been following my channel and you have installed and updated that custom firmware, this is the custom firmware that you're going to be downloading today. So this is the file right here that I'm going to have you download. The link will be in the description below. And all you're going to need is a USB stick that's about a gig and uh, your PS3 that's running custom firmware already or if you luck out and have an official firmware PS3 that's running 355 official firmware then you can install this but I doubt it so moving on uh, go into my USB stick now on the root of the USB stick let me just drag this file up so I can see it on the root of the USB stick uh, you're gonna wanna make a P uh, PS3 folder all in capital letters so capital PS and the number 3 make that folder and open it up inside that folder you're gonna wanna make an update folder so um, make an update folder all capital letters and then open that up now this is the old firmware so I'll just delete that real quick and uh, hold on I'm just gonna rename this real quick for you uh, how it says the uh, Habibs underscore CEX underscore custom firmware uh, 4.46 version 1.13 I'm also going to add at the end of it um, PS3 UPDAT. Up that. All right. There we go. All right. So, correction to the name of the file I'm going to have you download is Habibs underscore CEX underscore CFW 4.46 underscore version 1.13 underscore PS3 up dat dot PUP. That's what you're going to download. Same link and everything. It'll be in the description below. I haven't uploaded this file yet, so I'm going to upload it in a minute. Anywho, copy that to the update folder that you just created or already have on your USB stick inside the PS3 folder that's on the root of the USB. Allow that to copy over. And then we're going to go into the next step, which is renaming the file so the PS3 recognizes it. All right. So let that copy over. Do 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 any day. It feels like it's taking eons. Now I've have heard about the uh, also the 4.46 Alexander firmware, and I found the file. I just need a decryption key, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'll get it ASAP as soon as I can find a decryption key. But uh, moving on now, uh, the file that you just put on your USB stick, you're gonna want to rename that, which is why I typed this in for you. Just go where it says ps 3 updatepup and just delete everything in front of it and just leave it as ps 3 updatepup and rename it as that. Once you do that, you're all set and ready to go to the PS3 and update. So unplug your USB, pop it in the PS3, and I will meet you there and we'll continue with the update. Alright guys, so back at the PS3 system now. After you have put everything situated in the folders for the PS3 folder, inside that there's an update folder, and inside the update folder you have the PS3 updat.pup for the new uh, version 1.13 Habib's uh, CEX based custom firmware. What you're going to do now is plug that USB into your PS3 and go to System Update. Scroll down to Update via Storage Media. Once you do that, you will see the 4.46 PS3 updat.pup. Click X on that and commence with the installation. Allow the files to copy over to the system which shouldn't take too long and uh, after that it will uh, ask you, prompt you for the PS button. Uh, hit that on your controller and then it will find the data and it will start the update. Now basically all this does is a couple of bug fixes and shit like that especially with the PS3 uh, to our, well the PSP to PS3 PKG files when you take an ISO, convert it to a package, I got a video on it have been having problems with the um, the uh, black screen they call it the black screen problem uh, if it doesn't work uh, I just do mine as minis because I don't really per se care about the uh, pixelation or whatever but if you care that much and you want it to work perhaps this might be the outgo for you so if you want to make it a PSP remaster this is probably the firmware best bet to do it on uh, if not, and you're just making minis, then who cares? Alright, so here we are. 
commencing with the update it'll ask you for the PS button go ahead and hit the PS button and it will check for the update data and then after that it will install so come on there we are installing do not turn off your system after the install operation has been completed the system will automatically restart ta-da so in the long run pretty much all we're gonna do is wait so I will be right back and uh, we'll be set to go after the installation alright so coming back after the installation this is the reboot booting up here uh, so here we go do 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 and here we are with the PS3 logo press your PS button after the reboot nobody cares about that warning and now you're running Habib's 4.46 uh, CEX based custom firmware version 1.13 so nothing really changed so it just did a minor bug fix update and all that fun jazz so yeah other than that rate comment and subscribe to my channel the download link will be below along with the information on how to install this property if you can't follow the video which I believe the video is the easier way so that's why I make the videos so yeah feel free to donate to my channel uh, for uh, anything that could possibly be added to this channel uh, for an example I don't know units or things like that that I can purchase and do tutorials on how to do things on those uh, things like that uh, so feel free uh, rate comment and subscribe other than that leave comments below or on my discussion page on my channel check out my website software-reborn.com also my blog electronics and software as well as subscribe to me on Twitter or follow me on that and uh, that's about it oh yeah and for those of you that are wondering what the hell happened to my PS3 account well my PS3 is uh, software reborn uh, no spaces so punch that in add me on PS3 if you want and uh, we'll play some Call of Duty or something together I don't know so yeah take it easy guys and I'll talk to you later enjoy your new custom firmware and stay tuned for more updates